Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mad Games GX here, and we're just going to be shooting off the top here and talking about the ban list. I wanted to get a video one on one with you guys because I did do a live stream yesterday, live reacting to the ban list with my mods. Highly recommend you guys go check it out if you have not already. We had a fun time. It was fun reacting to the ban list and talking about implications off the cuff with you guys in chat. We had 100 people watching. Link down to below if you guys want to check that out. But I did want to talk about with you guys one on one, talk about the implications for the game in general and for branded despia of course because that is our tried and true deck around here we got to talk about what this means for branded and what it means for the rest of the meta and uh the implications because a lot of these cards are pretty insane and the fact of the matter is if we go to the um desktop we have no hits for branded despia there is no sanctifier hit there's no branded fusion hits um there is no nothing so there was a lot of hits to powerful cards such as baron de fleur being banned and borlode savage dragon also being banned which is really insane to me i feel like those are cards that definitely had it coming eventually but weren't those weren't it wasn't going to happen anytime soon but konami kind of saw like they could do something to snake eye and they were like we're going to ban their best boss monsters because we're going to have to ban these guys anyways down the line you know i think konami doesn't like cards that you're forced to run basically and any deck that can make bar baron makes bear or runs baron so that was kind of where it was getting to and, and similar kind of link karibo link karibo is just generically really strong and was really strong in the fire builds so it's a indirect hit to the fire builds and then also just you know generic link support so and then also summon limit being banned is super good i mean you can really tie in the anti-spell fragrance semi limit as well i feel like konami really hit those hits out of the park i feel like those are quite possibly some of the best hits on this list frankly um i think that summon limit was a plague on the game i also think that anti-spell was even more of a plague on the game so now i'm not going to be forced to run cosmic cyclone in my side deck anymore which is going to be nice also just like that 33 percent of even seeing cosmic cyclone just dealing with that was a really bad dynamic in my opinion so i think that that's a great thing um no no sanctifier hit so no sanctifier hit is really big in my opinion i think that konami wants to go more towards monster floodgates than spell and trap card floodgates so they see sanctifier as a manageable issue i think so because you see calamity bend the ocg not banned over here so obviously these are manageable issues for the tcg um you know you see branded not really doing that well in terms of just like beating out the top decks it's usually around the fifth deck i mean obviously it is one of the most topping decks so it is doing quite well i shouldn't say that however i think that the numbers bearing outwards it still doesn't have any significant ycs tops recently outside uh, in fire format and then also the fact that is that it's not it's still like i said the fifth most to most topping deck so uh, you know behind like fire decks um Kestura and voices voice this might change with the new meta i think that that's what we're gonna have to talk about i think that the fact that branded has no hits on it means that uh, we'll get into it after we i mean I, I think that is really huge because the deck's going to be completely at full power. We're going to be, I think that Raleigh is going to be the best event for Branded in a while because we don't really have to test new builds. We just have to play. I mean, obviously there are some cards that came back that we'll talk about that we could possibly play. But in the at the end of the day, I think that the pure Branded strategy is being on hit and is still also probably the best strategy for Branded despite Colossus coming back to one. So I think that we have actually just a lot of time to just figure out a build that works that's meted out for this event versus having to do a lot of testing i mean obviously snake eye boards are different um and i, I think that we have this really our work cut out for us as branded players so i think that raleigh's looking really good for brandon this format's looking really good for branded um you know if you see pearly and labyrinth crop up more i feel like brandon might have a tough time but i think that overall with no sanctifier ban this is really huge for the deck no hit to branded fusion i think the deck is going to be arguably the best deck in the room um but you guys see no indirect bans or limits to fire so obviously we're gonna see we'll talk about that later but the limits go to protos coming back on top of kieran on top of chicken game on top of colossus on top of title so we basically got five cards back that were were on the ban list and i feel like that's really insane for the tcg to do it's it's a lot of power just coming back into the game that we didn't have before so it's definitely interesting but you know we do see the barone de fleur borload coming out so it's kind of like a one for one in that 
sense you know we get more power because of these power cards left i think decks are gonna have to rebuild that's a super huge thing with barone and boral i think that decks are gonna have to reform and re-strategize and combo decks are gonna have a really bad time you know obviously nibiru is going to be just insane now but these cards coming back i think you know title itself boosts water decks but doesn't do anything outside of that obviously protos is going to be great in sword soul and also very annoying as a arch nemesis uh infernal flame banshee kind of um combo strategy to or you know just kind of engine that decks are going to be able to run in order to um facilitate protos in their decks and protos is just a really tough card to deal with you have to imperm it basically or else it'll just floodgate you however it only covers attributes and a lot of decks that konami are making do not just lose to like a one attribute kind of like lock like goes in so you know i think that that is fine for now you have to give sword soul something since colossus got banned and then or sorry since baron got banned and then th speaking of that colossus is back i think that thunder dragons are back on the menu um i think that mostly this is going to be an engine in a lot of decks because you can obviously use the nemesis engine to kind of basically turbo out this guy because they're thunder so i, and I just found this out colossus can literally just summon itself out for free without thunder dragon it's just so nuts it's just so broken so stupid um and so this is something that we can possibly use in branded as well so you're gonna in also snake eyes is looking to use this too because any deck can run the arch nemesis package which is really broken i feel like that's why that card got bought out so i think that um colossus is something that we're going to have to keep our eye on and you guys are going to have to look out for a video on um the thunder dragon branded deck if you guys want to see that make sure to leave a like let's get 100 likes on this video uh chicken game coming back is definitely insane to me because that card was broken as hell as basically mystic mind before mystic mind so i think that a lot of decks that were using mystic mind will end up using this uh card um anti-spell or yeah no we already talked about that semi limits are armageddon knight and purely delicious memory armageddon knight is just for orcus i don't really like that personally because her poor is also at three now so it's like whatever but purely delicious i don't think it's going to do too much right now purely delicious memory is actually it's understandable because they kind of nuked purely on the next list or with the last list with sleepy to one so i think they do deserve delicious to two at least so they can help play the game although the deck is just super i hate the deck honestly i don't like purely in the ecosphere of the of the game i feel like it's unhealthy of a deck having in you know unkillable towers that just draws a bunch of cards and you know can spin cards it's not great um so but it, you know purely deserved a little bit better than the than they were traded in the tcg i feel like so it's definitely something that's understandable then malicious to three is insane heroes are gonna love that tier is gonna love that another combo dark decks are gonna love it orcus harpoor to three i mean orcus is back on the menu guys speed word terra top to three is whatever it's gonna not really do too much and then except for help uh rogue decks and like speed rogue cash which got hit with baron ban so sky striker mobilize engage to three that is pretty big i feel like sky striker will be a deck once the new support comes out for it whenever that ends up getting ported over to the tcg so overall impressions of the list um general implications and then we'll talk about branded again i think that general implications mean that uh, combo decks are half dead now they have to rely on appaloosa now and they're much more susceptible to nibiru like look at a deck like manadium they basically can't make a anti-nib out under five summons and a lot of combo decks are going to fall into that category i feel like that card decks that you know have an in out answer to nib basically are going to rise above the others we're going to probably see some power creep come down the line because konami are printing decks that can play through nib so you know i feel like the decks that can play through nib inherently are going to be better than the ones that can't and those decks are going to fall to the wayside kind of thing so you know i definitely a sea change for things and you know a lot of things are going to have to reform i think fire is still the best deck though we see no fire king hits directly no s direct snake eye hits obviously the baron savage uh uh bands are really huge to snake eye on top of link rebo so i think that deck gets weaker now than fire king fire king is definitely going to be better now but um fire king will likely be the best deck and i think that um you know there's a lot of other contenders obviously a uh, voiceless voice did not get hit branded did not get hit um labyrinth did not get hit so i feel like and purely got buffed so i feel like those will probably be our top five decks all things considered but obviously we do have you bell coming down the the pipe and then also melodious i don't think melodious is going to do a whole lot here outside of um you know some really good players with it but um labyrinth is going to be or sorry uh, lee bell is going to be insane so uh that will definitely be in the contention too i think that you know um these cards coming back mean that there's going to be a lot more deck building here and ycs rally is going to be insane man like uh, we only have a week or five days to test, so it's going to be a very unknown format, unknown event. 
in that event is going to kind of just like sh <coughs> is going to kind of show and kind of dictate the terms of this format this is going to also be our nats format so most likely unless we get a ban list like a week before nats but i, I kind of doubt it at this point but we'll see because we've been kind of getting a, a ban list every like uh bit every uh set so definitely interesting i think that also then the bear or the branded hits you know not being one you know rest in peace sanctifier haters we're here for another four more years motherfuckers <laughs> no uh just all respect uh but i do want to say that uh br that that branded here is branded not being hit makes me very happy obviously as a branded player and i think that the deck really you know they would have had to ban calamity and a lot of other things for it to be justified and i think they're going to try it out in a board state and see where brand you know because like labyrinth and purely not traditionally easy matchups for branded are going to get better theoretically from this list i mean i think labyrinth is going to struggle more but purely definitely will be very good very much a top contender again but i believe at least we'll see what one sleepy does to it overall but i think that will be and then also uh, branded it just has a really good fire king matchup they had a worse snake eye matchup objectively because the omni negates so now you're gonna be able to break any board and that's also just like a thing overall for the format now board breaker just gets way better because there's less omni negates you know triple tactics talents can just take an apo very easily things like minecon and change of heart might actually get a lot better because of things like this um you know less omni negates means a lot more playability so we should be seeing a lot more back and forth between games and i feel like konami's gonna have to do another list to probably clean up all this uh to be honest because there's gonna be a lot of decks that just can like rise above this list i feel like but we'll see what happens there um but yeah like i said i think branded best stack and it's gonna be one of the best contenders and you know i wouldn't be surprised if they won raleigh frankly it's gonna be a really good format for um branded with the with you know no hits the wind of its at our backs with uh, fire king being the best stack probably uh when we have a really easy fire king matchup frankly I think that Protoss could be an issue, though. You know, obviously, I think that Colossus is something that we could also look into running and in Protoss, frankly, too. Um, so there's a lot of things that branded players can look into and a lot of other players can look into and a lot of players should be happy, I feel like. I know, uh, let's just talk about the YCS conundrum. I mean, it really sucks there was a list five days before the YCS. I kind of like these unique chaos moments. Are, it's going to make for an interesting tournament. You know, lots of deck building. You know, like people are going to come out on top who can, you know, meta call, which is really cool. But I think that it really sucks for people who's, who have been testing. But, you know, I feel like this is really going to test people's abilities. Uh, it just sucks with like people who have to work and shit like that but you know that is just kind of life um so we'll see how that goes i hope you guys enjoyed the video we are going to have a video on thunder dragon branded so make sure to leave a like if you guys want to see that comment below what you guys thought about the ban list check out the links below thank you channel members very much no intro no outro this video see you guys later make sure to subscribe wrote to 5k subs see you guys later